PR community. Sorry uh, for the long break in videos, but somebody gave me a good excuse to do a new one. Uh, on my Tea Stain ATC video, Artemis Cho asked about the art kit that I carry around with me all the time. I've always got a little kit in my purse so that I can sketch no matter where I'm at. Um, and depending on my mood at the time or how big of a trip I'm on, if, I, if I've gone somewhere, uh, my kit actually changes a little bit. And of course, it's always changed over time as I've found new tools that I like and gotten rid of ones that I don't seem to use too much. And I'm always trying to lighten my load because I, like most women, I've already got a purse that's got a ton of stuff in it and tends to be pretty heavy. And that's really not good for your back. So, uh, as time goes on, I've tried to uh, wean out stuff that doesn't uh, get used a lot, and uh, I'm going to kind of show you the process and uh, talk to you a little bit about what I've got in my kit and why. So, um, first off, if you're going to have an art kit, you've got to have some sort of a bag to put it in, and uh, otherwise you're chasing it all over your purse. So, have it in something. And you can get any number of cute little bags uh, that will work just fine for it. I've got uh, a couple different ones that I will use uh, just according to my mood. I actually started out with this and uh, uh, used it for a long time. I picked this bag up not too long ago and I use it sometimes. Uh, it's nice because it's uh, a plastic and so it cleans up pretty easily this end. I just don't worry about how dirty it gets. Um, a lot of times uh, I use this. Uh, it's a little bit wider so I can fit uh, kind of bulkier things into it if I want to. And then I picked this up recently. It's a little uh, small bag here and it's got an elastic band on it that will slip around a sketchbook or Moleskina. And it's just big enough for a couple of pens or pencils uh, so that you really lighten your load. Uh, like I said, I just picked this up last weekend, and I haven't really had much of a chance to use it. Uh, so I'm still kind of evaluating it. But um, not so important as to what to put the stuff in, but what stuff do you put in there? Originally, when I started carrying an art kit around with me, I had... Like I mentioned, I had this, and I had a ton of pencils in it because uh, I was trying to take all of my watercolor pencils with me at once, and I was always afraid that they would get broken in here, so I ended up getting this, uh, which is a plastic uh, box that they will all fit in, and I put a uh, squishy piece of foam in there that I cut to, keep, to, to protect the points. The bad thing about this box... Uh, while a nice size and handy is as you're walking along and your purse is moving along with you, it tends to make a lot of noise. I don't like that. I'm a ninja. I like sneaking up on people. So I stopped using that, and not to mention I also kind of stopped using watercolor pencils for the most part. Uh, I switched over to using watercolor paint, and believe it or not, that's kind of that's pretty easy to take with me, and, and I can actually take uh, a small watercolor kit with me and mix a lot more colors uh, a lot easier than I can trying to, to carry a ton of watercolor pencils with me. So that's one change. Um, so other than that, though, what I carry with me, uh, your basics to start out with, uh, I usually have some sort of pencil. Uh, be it a regular sketching pencil or mechanical pencil or a lead holder. Uh, this is something new that I've been trying out. Uh, and along with that, if they're regular pencils, some sort of small pencil sharpener and a eraser. I like these white plastic erasers. They erase a lot better. They don't leave uh, color behind on the paper. Like with the, if you try to use a pink pearl eraser, that will leave a pink spot on your paper. And uh, it a lot of times will not get everything up anyway. So these work a lot better. 
so your pencils, um, with mechanical pencils, sometimes I'll carry along a uh, thing of lead with me if I think I'm going to be drawing a lot, or if I'm on a trip. If something happens, I like to have replacement lead. So that's pencils. Um, I usually have some sort of pen as well so that I can ink over lines, or sometimes I just forego the pencil and, and draw with a pen anyway. Uh, these are pit artist pens. These are jelly rolls. Uh, these are newer, and I'm still kind of evaluating them, seeing if I like them. The jelly rolls, these are my old standby, my old loves. I like to have, uh, no matter what kind of pen I've got, uh, I like to have black, brown, and then in the jelly roll pens, I really like these white pens. I can use them to do highlights. Uh, just really nice, quick little small touches that really bring life to a drawing or a painting. Um, glue. This is a Zig memory system two-way glue. I don't use it for the um, temporary feature. You can uh, put it on, let it dry, and then stick something on it. It's supposed to come off. I don't know if that works or not, so don't quote me on that part of it, but it works really well for permanent glue. I've used, uh, I think this is only the second one I've used in the last three years or so. I'm still going strong on it, and I've I've had pages where I've covered the whole thing with other stuff using the glue pen, so uh, it goes a long way. Uh, I also carry uh, scissors, a really small pair of Sheeran Snitta scissors, so I can do fine detail stuff. Uh, this is a uh, both a burnishing tool and a paper piercer. So I don't know if you can see that very well, but uh, this one I tend to keep it so that the burnishing tool is. In, is out and then put the cap on because the cap will come off a lot. Uh, it's nice for poking holes through pages so that you can like sew through it if you happen to pick up a traveling sewing kit or you're trying to attach something to the page or to uh, an ATC or something like that. You want to thread something through it or tie something to it. That works uh, nice and it's this one is from uh, Making Memories and it's a really nice small size. That's one of the reasons I like it. Um, I also, while I don't carry the watercolor pens so much anymore, I do carry these a lot. These are watercolor, uh, I'm sorry, pencils. Uh, these are watercolor pencils, but they're graphite. They're a watercolor graphite, and there are three lead um, hardnesses here. I, I like soft lead. It's blacker, and it's kind of gushier. I like that. I've got an 8B, a 4B, and an HB. And I like to use these for borders and for shadows and things like that. So you um, draw on and then you take a water brush, which I always have a water brush of some sort with me, uh, and you wet them and it kind of lets it gush out and gives a really nice effect. Um, the water, uh, the water uh, brushes that I mentioned uh, you can get a couple different brands. There are cheaper ones out there as well. I got these as a three pack at Michael's, I think, or Hobby Lobby, something like that, and they were pretty cheap. I had one that some of the hair came out of it, but other than that, it's been, it, they don't leak. Uh, I've had this one rolling around in a, um, in a box and the cap comes off and I haven't found like a ton of water anywhere. Um, so, they don't, they're not too bad, um, and they're very convenient. Uh, I like the, I have a koi one that I like it because you can take it apart and there's a little cap that goes in it to keep the water in, so I have a smaller uh, thing. It's only about that tall, uh, two little things, and I can fit that in just about anything. So uh, there's that. Um, I like to have a white crayon with me so that when I'm doing watercolor, I can use that for wax resists. That's a lot of fun. Um, so that's kind of the full kit. If I'm going on a trip or what have you, I'll probably dump all this stuff into this particular bag, and it will all fit in here. It, it all goes into this particular little bag. Um, and... Uh, the other thing that I will take with me is I made myself a watercolor kit uh, out of an old Altoids tin. And what I did was 
I took empty watercolor pans. You can buy these from Daniel Smith. Uh, it's a online art site. Uh, they come empty and, oops, my black keeps popping out. Uh, basically, I rubber cemented the, the empty pans down to the bottom of an old Altoids tin, filled the um, pans with two watercolors, excuse me, let that dry, and then I've got a little watercolor kit that can go anywhere I want with me. And I stuck a little piece of eraser in there and a bit of sponge. And I've got a color wheel that I made up with these colors, so you can get an idea of how much of a variety in color you can get just out of these five colors. You don't have to have a whole bunch of um, paints in order to get colors. You can mix your own. And um, So now you can see what I mean by I, I like the fact that uh, I can have, go with this instead of this. It's a lot lighter. And the uh, and I can get some good colors out of it, even though it seems like oh you've only got three pri you know you've got three primary colors and a couple of dark colors, you know what are you going to do with that? I've done things like uh, this octopus hatchling, um, this little elephant, and this. Uh, so I can paint just about any sort of little sketchy type of thing uh, that I want out of that little kit and it is just a lot of fun. I, I enjoy it a lot more than the watercolor pencils, honestly. So I will say that a lot of times, uh, you know, the watercolor pencils, I do tend to worry about where am I going to find water to fill up my brush and things like that, but I also have a big camelback um, uh, bottle that I filled with water and I keep it in my car. So I've always got water. Um, hey, if I'm stranded, I'm thirsty, I've got water. If I want to paint, I've got water. Uh, and I always try to keep these filled up if I'm going someplace. So that's pretty much my kit uh, in various forms. Like I said, I don't necessarily take all of this with me at once. Um, these days I've actually only been taking a mechanical pencil um, a, actually, taking the, the mechanical pencil, the white uh, jelly roll pen for highlights, a water brush, and then this uh, crayon sometimes. And then I might take like a black or my brown uh, pen of some sort. And that's it. I will take that with my little watercolor kit and a sketchbook and I'm ready to go no matter where I go I'm ready to sketch do an art journal page um, grab a couple ATCs and stick it in the pocket in the back of here and I'm ready for anything so I I think it's a lot of fun it is it's made weights a lot more pleasant if I you know you go to the DMV and you sit there and you're doing art instead of twiddling your thumbs and waiting, or you're in the doctor's office, or you're waiting to pick somebody up, or you're at lunch um, at work. You've got a little shot of art during the day. So it's a lot of fun. Uh, I think everybody should try it. And let me know what you think. Hope that was helpful. Talk to you later. Bye.